Hey guys, um, Psycho here. Um, I got a request from a, a bud, a bro, a dude, that I need to do a complete updated stuff or um, sale of everything I still have. So, where shall I start? I guess I'll start with this. First off, this is the uh, custom Sniper Blade Works with a uh, mirror polished edge, ghost handle, black clip. This one, I said 750, and I'm sticking with it. Comes with a nice pouch. It's a great lockup. Centering. It's a beast. Just a little dusty. It's definitely like not one of those you want to carry, but if you want to carry and you want to pay the 750, go for it. Comes with this nice little zipper thingy. Alright. That's that. Next up we got the, the MPR bench made. Got this little dude. A little stiff to get out, good lock up. Factory head sharp, never used. Bought it to help a dude out, but it's, I guess that's the only reason I bought it. <laughs> no, I bought it because it, it looks nice, but you know, if you look at it again, not my deal. This one, I'm going down to 165. So how's everybody's day doing? Great day going. Oh, it just started. I actually got a pretty good sleep. Got home at nine last night. Six of night, well, passed out. Woke up at five this morning. So I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Next up is the uh, Swedge 2. I guess you'd say custom since it's been uh, cut off. When I bought this, uh, they gave me the sheath for a Swedge uh, 1. And I asked the dude for another one and nothing. So I had this for like a couple years. No sheath. Kept on looking and then uh, Brother Vance said he would do one for me. So I took him on that offer. I mean, it's badass and all, but you know. I'm just, I have no need for this knife really, <laughs> I appreciate them, and whoever snags it will have a really nice one, and you can put a tech lock on it, wrap it up, whatever you want, and this one's 95. Because uh, I'm including the payment for the sheath, because that's a custom sheath work right there, man. Then come off. Not bad. Pretty good work for someone who doesn't really do sheaths, but <laughs> 95 people. All right, next, I'm going in order of what I wrote down. It's my Leverlito, Leverletto, Leto, Leto. It's a lever. A lot of fingerprints. Got a buffalo horn. Got this on Blade uh, Blade Ops because Blade HQ doesn't sell them, and it's a it's a good knife. Just need to uh, get the fingerprints off. 
And this one's going for 85. Then next up is the Kershaw Chill. Acquired this uh, guy through a trade. You can see uh, it's been re not really reground, but I guess sharpened. Yeah, that's sharp. See, I'm putting pressure. Look at that. <laughs> that's sharp. Not bad for a user. And uh, this one I'm letting go for, what did I put? 15. Because I think it's one of those that you're going to probably keep on hold for a while. <laughs> Alright, next up is the uh, TDI. Comes with this uh, belt clip. Never used. I carried it a couple times. When you work late at night and don't have a gun, I mean, shit. Oops. Oh no! London Bridge fell over. Let's see here. Get some back. There we go. Stable. But yeah, anyhow, uh, this one. 30. I went down. Okay. Next up is uh, the Gerber Gator Combo Wedge. Uh, no, it doesn't come with a sheath. Because uh, my friend, uh, he gave it to me and this is how he got it. So, yeah. Oh, shit. That was a close one. And you know what? I recommend any knife that I cut myself with on this show or on this channel is a worthy buy. <laughs> but yeah, this one I put 30 but without the sheath I'm going to go down to y'all are lucky. I'm going to go down to 25. Because five dollars off, because no sheath. All right, twenty-five bucks, y'all, for a nice knife. All right, next up is oh, the uh, Damascus knife. For some reason, when I looked it up, it's called a Stephen King. And I think it might need a little work. Yeah, it's not sharp at all. But all you guys out there have good sharpeners. Here's a good one for you. I can't remember how much I paid for it. I think I paid 50 for it. Oh. I do 30, but some bitch ain't sharp. I mean, it's beautiful work. Comes in this nice... Uh, Leather sheath. Um, yeah, I'll do 30. And if anything, I may go down. It's open to whatever. Okay. You hear that snap? <laughs> Alright, next up. Ah, oh, the spew. CRKT spew. Now, this thing is severely sharp because I never cut anything with it. Fault spew. Look at my tail. Bleh, 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 bleh. Getting a close in, close up in of a butt. Yes, I need to go get a manicure. 
fight me. <laughs> That's probably from the sheath. Yep. Because all I ever do is take it in and out. This one is 30. All right, next is a cheap auto. This one, stainless, says Italy, but I think it's, we all know where it is. Got this in a store in Tennessee at Gatlinburg. Cheap. <laughs> thing I they charge extra for it. One second. Yeah. Yeah, this one I'm gonna let like, go for 15. Because it's a no namer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Next up, a big ass wood handle with a shitty pocket clip. <laughs> And a nice joker, what is this? Uh, surgical steel? Yeah. 1045 surgical steel. Oh, it's a limited edition. How about that? I'm pushing the button. Nothing's happening. But yeah, this one. 15 also. Yeah, you know eBay. They jack everything up. <laughs> okay, next is oh barely folder I can't talk to myself all right yeah I don't know loosen it up or whatever or whoever gets it yeah shit oh well fuck it ah uh, pardon my French 25 bucks got this at um um uh, Barlow's Fish and Tackle or not Oshman's. Was it on no, maybe it was a Bass Pro Shop. I don't know, I went with my dad and saw it, bought it. Might have been Bass Pro Shop. But yeah, like I said, this one twenty-five. All right, cat eye, cat eye. Okay, this is a Chinese POS, but it's sturdy. It's a log back. You got your rubber liners, scales, whatever you want to call it. Decent pocket clip. Okay, you might want to take that off and whatever. Pretty interesting blade. China gets very dusty. <laughs> okay, that worked. Not really. <laughs> this one, I say 15. Got a nice little You know what? It's got a blood groove too. Huh. How about that? I mean, it, it fits pretty uh, comfy. Except for maybe the pocket clip. You always take that off. It 
tie something there or whatever. Good centering. This one I said 15. Yes, I said 15. 15. Hallelujah. Alright, next up is an uh, old one. I, one of my first run of knives. Jaguar Utility Thrower. Yeah, look at that. It's got a bottle opener. It's got a uh, thingy. It's got little thingies. It's got uh, serrations. Belt clip cutter. It's Not bad. It's got a little lanyard too. Yeah, I mean it fits pretty decent. It's got good jimping too, so do whatever, cut. And I guess you can throw it too. But yeah, this one fifteen. Yeah the Made in China is kind of come off because I kept pulling in and out, in and out, in and out. Over time, it comes off. <laughs> okay. My legs are getting cramped. Oh, fuck. Shoot. Darn. Alright. Oh. These little things. They're a wisey wig. What you see is what you get. Ah, uh -huh. computer science class. They're really uh, unique, I guess. Yeah. Got the sharp part right there. The full serrations and I don't know. It's just they're interesting. But I'm selling these as a set. You buy both of them, ten bucks. I think I had number one, but I can't remember what happened to it. The sharpest out, oh, yeah. That got to me, yeah. They're right there. Yeah, the rest just. Yeah, I think I had a, another one and I gave it to my friend. I can't, I don't know. I bought these off eBay. They were a set and I couldn't find the first one. So, you got Condor Tactical 2 and 3. Both of them together, $10. Alright, M-Tech Dagger. This is actually made in China. It's a TA37GN. And it's only sharp on one side. Not bad G10. I mean, it's fairly comfortable. Comes with this sheath that has a clip or you can wear as a neck knife fits in real good um, 15 it's too slow Alright, where's the Boker Plus dagger? Oh, Boker Plus dagger. Serrations one side. Uh, semi. Is that a false edge? No, it just ain't sharp. 
Jesus Christ, no wonder they're so cheap. 440C. Well, that's a disappointment. 15 bucks, so. Did I do 15? Yeah. 15 bucks for this. I guess you can wear it as a scuba diver. Alright. Swamp Cat Auto. Come out, come out, wherever you are. There you are. Yes, I had to duct tape the box because it fell apart. <laughs> Got this on Blade Ops. It's a Swamp Cat, but it says Stain Loco Lobo. Stainless! Oh! That's what that is. Ha! Huh. Swanson, Swinson. Look on the briefcase. Samsonite. Oh, I was way off. <laughs> but it's got a lock here. So you can't close it or whatever. Or lock. Don't come out. Yeah, this one. $20 even. And all these, all these uh, prices are shipped. Except if you're international, of course, you gotta pay what I pay shipping. Which I just do regular shipping for international, so it's like what, twenty bucks or something if it's real light. And I put everything down, and I know how to do international shipping now really well. <laughs> I've done a couple to Canada and one to my bro, Nerve. And uh, it's not that hard. I'm just, y'all need to help just pay the shipping price, and um, along with the other price, but inside the US all you gotta do is do gift option or add three percent if you're using a credit card but of course if you use your PayPal account it doesn't take anything off so okay that one was twenty um okay condor jungle buoy buoy this is gonna be a long video I don't care. It's got a wood handle. Very nice. Not sharp. Yeah. Very sharp. Comes in this nice leather sheath. Got your leg tie, belt loop. And uh, this one is going for 25. It's a nice knife for 25 bucks. Ah, oh, need a drink. All right, let's continue this. Uh. Okay, got this at the mall in Virginia with my nephews. I was buying them stuff, and uh, one of them bought the claws from uh, uh, 